I'm Ryan. And I'm Charlie. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the studio. studio. First up on the studio, we have an interview with Mr. T. Hi, this is Ariana. I'm here today with Mr. Tassie for a short interview. Our first question today is, when did you first start working at Westminster? Uh, I started working at Westminster Catawba Christian School uh, June, uh, July 1, actually, of 2018. Okay, our second question is, what inspires you? What inspires me? Uh, my wife and my kids walking with Jesus inspires me. Our third question is, if you were a new audition to a crayon box, what color would you be? Um, I would pick um, probably my skin color and then call it something that kind of derives my character or my personality. So I'd call it joyful milk chocolate. Uh, what fact uh, is there that we do not know about you? Um, I am actually named after my grandfather, who was an ambassador for the country of Haiti. Very cool. Okay, what would the title of your autobiography be? Hmm. A mixed man in a mixed up world. Okay, <laughs> if you could get credit for any book, movie, song, film, what would it be? Um... I don't know. I kind of like the actor Denzel Washington, so a lot of the stuff that he does, uh, there's some pretty cool movies that way that I think I would think. Yeah. Okay. That'll be all for today, and back to you. Thanks for the interview, Mr. T. So, how's soccer been going for you? Really good. Here's Reese with the WCCS Sports Update. I'm Reese, here with your Weezy Sports announcements. Congratulations to the middle school and varsity boys soccer teams last Friday for winning against Southlake. On varsity, Thomas Bird scored and many of the other players made penalty kicks. Tuesday, middle school boys soccer and middle school girls volleyball won against Gaston Christian. Four of the boys on the middle school soccer team, including Joey Scher, Silas Wynn, and Jake and Josh Monroe, scored. Girls Varsity Golf but had a close match last Tuesday. Oh, and good job, Cross Country. Keep up the good work. I'm glad to see West Minister doing so well in sports. Shout out to my Cross Country people. Okay, calm down. Soccer is much better anyways. Who's with me? Okay. Anyway, here's Max with a fun fact. This is Max with your fun fact. Did you know that there are more plastic flamingos than real ones in the U.S.? Back to you. How is that even possible? Well, that's America for you. Charlie. What? I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Well, I can't control my hunger. Well, you should go to the murder at the pie auction tonight. What's that? Here's a trailer. <laughs> definitely go see that tonight. It looks like fun. Yeah, I can't wait. And it's free. <laughs> Next up in the studio is Carrington with a news story about Hurricane Florence. Two weeks ago, the North and South Carolina coastline was attacked by Hurricane Florence. Even though it only hit as a Category 1 storm, $38 billion worth of damage was inflicted by the hurricane. The maximum rainfall totaled at 35.93 inches in North Carolina. This great amount of rain created a storm surge on the coast. Flooding was even seen in our area. Parts of the interstate were flooded and many low-lying locations flooded quickly. Please pray for all of the people affected by the storm as they start to rebuild. Back to you guys. Let us remember to keep all the victims in our prayers. Every prayer counts. And ending the show is Thomas with a devotion. This is Thomas with your Bible verse. 1 Timothy 4.12 do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in the faith, in speech, in conduct, in love, in purity, and in faith. See you next time on, on the, the studio. studio.